Hi everybody, it's Amy, and I'm really excited to share with you today my latest project that I've created. Um, I created a little keepsake box for Baby Girl using the um, Graphic 45 Little Darlings collection. It's really, really cute paper collection. It was a lot of fun to work with for this box. And um, I made the box. It's actually a little recipe box that I had picked up at my local AC Moore. And then I had, um, it was raw wood, so I stained it a walnut, and then I painted over it like a, um, a vintage white, the folk art vintage white, and then I sanded it and distressed it so that you could see, um, you know, when you look at the corners and stuff, you can see some of the, um, walnut finish peeking through. And then just to give the recipe box a little bit more of a, um, presence, I wanted to, to kind of um, you know, give it some more height. So I picked up this MDF plaque also from AC Moore and I glued it to the top of the box. Well, after I um, decorated everything with the papers, um, and I also painted this with the walnut stain and the vintage white, and that's on there with Gorilla Glue. And then to give the box even more height, I um, sewed these little booties. And let me give you a closer look at those. Um, yeah, and I created the booties using a um, pattern that I had found for free on the internet. And I thought they came out really cute. And to create the booties, I used um, some felt that you can get off the yard um, at Joann's. And it's like really thick felt, so I, I wanted to use that because I wanted the booties to be able to maintain their shape. And also I trimmed the booties out. I have some laces. Um, around them and um, I also put like a little I Am Roses crochet flower and these are really great now because they come with like the little pearl in the center or you can get them without the pearl you know but um, these ones have the pearl so really really cute and then um, on the back of the booties I decorated them with um, some seam binding um, and that is uh, had some pink seam binding and then I um, distressed it with some vintage photo. Um, I made like a little, I used my mini mister and I put like a drop or two of vintage photo in it and some water and then I, you know, I wanted it to look a little bit older and tone it down because it's a bright pink. And then also for the other I Am Roses flowers that I used on here, aren't these pretty? I love these. These are, um, white roses and then they have these cute little pink centers. So pretty. And then I have a gardenia over here, and I cut, I fussy cut some of the butterflies from the paper collection and put them on the, to decorate the gardenia. And let's see, and then over here I have a daisy in this, in between the booties. They're so pretty. And I have some rosebuds in here, and some other rosebuds over here. And just to stuff the booties. The booties are stuffed with some batting inside and some polka dotted tool. And this one I have some felt hearts with a pearl. And over here I have a um, butterfly image that I fussy cut from the paper collection. Yeah, and that's um, that's the top of the box. And then um, for the front of the box, uh, let's see, I'll do some adjustments. My camera so you can see it. Um, for the front of the box, excuse me, I, um, yeah, I have the little darlings that I fussy cut from the paper collection, um, and this is a butterfly border. The collection is a butterfly border, but I fussy cut the butterflies out of the border, so, um, because I wanted them, you know, to be, have the butterfly shape instead. And then, um, over here, I have... Um, let's see. I have a little metal doily that I had purchased um, from Michael's in the bead landing section. And let's see. And then I just have a little lace peeking out behind the folds and the tears in the paper. There's a tear there and here. And then here I sewed the paper. Um, did some stitching. And then this is just a banner I created. I fussy cut this cute little baby from the collection. I have a crocheted button. Oh, this is another I Am Roses flower. I love these. And I have more of those rosebuds with the pink centers. I mean the roses with the pink centers. And then some rosebuds here. Oh, and then this is um, a punch that I had picked up um, from Joann's on clearance. Really cute with the floor delay. And then I just have some 
uh, laces here. So yeah, so that's the front of the box. And then just on the sides, I um, I used the newsprint to cover the sides, and I used the um, Cupid doll border. The Cupid dolls are really cute. And um, yeah, the other side's the same. And then um, the back, I have the polka dots again and the newsprint paper. So yeah, so that was a lot of fun. I thought the box came out really, really kind of cute. And so um, since it's a recipe card box, I did want to make some dividers for it. And, you know, I should say my inspiration for this project, um, For You, Maureen, on YouTube and Jade at Jaded Studios, they had done organizers using, um, like, tabs and tags and index cards and... Um, I thought they were really cute. The projects were really, really cute. So check out their channels. And um, so I wanted to do something, you know, an organizer too. And so I, you know, picked up the recipe box. And um, I have some um, tab dividers in here so that you could use the recipe box to sort, you know, baby photos. So let me get those out. I'll show you the, the tabs I created. Um, this is... Yeah, I used the butterfly paper on this tab. I, it's probably my favorite paper in the collection. I just think it's so cute. And um, I kind of tore it away here so you can see the butterflies. And I have lace and I did stitching. And um, yeah, I have a butterfly here, a bronze butterfly. The Little Darlings banner again. This is from the October Afternoon Ephemera Pack. And I thought it was perfect because it says Mom, Dad, Home. Love and Laughter. And this is a butterfly from some Graphic 45 paper. Um, and yeah, I have a little resin rose, and I cut out these, punched out these little leaves with my, um, Martha Stewart leaf punch, and yeah, and this cute little gal from the paper collection, and I have another, um, I am roses, uh, crocheted rose there, and then these are just some roses that I had fussy cut out of some Webster's pages, I think it was the Hollywood Vogue. So that's my first tab, um, into tag, a tab divider. And let's see, and then I have another one here. I did six dividers. Um, this one's really cute. Um, I layered, I have a doily here, and then I layered it with the um, uh, some hydrangea petals. And here's another crocheted flower, another hydrangea petal. And I have a border over here. And the hydrangea petals, they're really pretty. I stain them with the new Lindy's product. And hold on a minute, I have to see... I'm blanking. I know it's Nantucket, and I know Arlene designed it, but I'm blanking on the name. Hold on a second. I'm going to go check. Okay, it's the um, Nantucket Pearls, and the oh, really, really pretty colors. I was just, I'm just so blown away when I used them on this project for the first time. Um, yeah, I have the, I stained this one with the seagrass green, I think it's called, and this one's like a coral pink color that I stained the hydrangea over here, too. And then, um... Yeah, and I'm not sure, I'm sure I mentioned this, but this is a Spellbinders. Um, I cut this out with a Spellbinders die. And um, then I have this piece here. It's from Pink Paisley. And um, I have, this is a little flower from a Martha Stewart punch. And um, yeah, and then I have these little Cupid Doll um, die cut from the paper collection. And I just have some... You know, um, green, grow green ribbon tying off the ends. And then I have this little, um, sorry for the glare. It's a little metal trinket. And then just from that October afternoon, I clipped out the word together because these guys look so cute together. And then I have a little butterfly that I fussy cut from the paper collection. So that's that card. And then for my third card, um, I have, uh, this is a, the Tim Holtz doily on the edge doily die here and I cut it out of the paper collection and then this is some um, I fussy cut this guy out um, from the newsprint page from the paper collection um, there's some Martha Stewart um, flower punch again uh, another mini hydrangea for my roses with the uh, um, seagrass green which I love that color um, this is a Tattered Angels frame, and I framed out, um, a die cut from the collection. It's a stuff from Heaven, and, yeah, and then I have, and I have Rose's Cherry Blossom here. I have, um, these are some leaves that I cut out with Martha Stewart Punch, and I fussy cut this, um, background here from the paper collection, and then I use the Graphic 45s, 
um, little darling stamp sets, one of them to stamp out the baby carriage. And then if you can see, I have like one of the little cupid dolls in the carriage and a couple of butterflies that I fussy cut. And this is the MFT banner die. Really cute. I love that die. And let's see. Um, and then these are just some pearls and some laces. Um, so yeah, so that's that card. And then on this card here, I'll show you this one. I have um, a doily background again and um, some more of the hydrangeas. This one's in the Whale Watch Blue. This is in the Coral. And I have some butterflies that I fussy cut from the paper collection. This is a little Maya Road envelope with polka dots. Really cute. I just thought it went perfectly with this paper collection. And um, I have some, you know, laces under here. And, and um, this one is a, a rose from my rose. It's white rose, but I spritzed it with the clam bake beige from Lindy's. And I have some um, little ribbon here on the bicycle. And I got this bicycle charm on eBay. And let's see what else. And this is just a stamp, again, from my own little darling stamp set. And I have um, one of the new Tim Holtz paper clips here and I clipped just, I had cut out some of the stamps and I love this stamp, she's so cute. I love any of the little stamps that have like little dogs or cats on them because I love animals so much. Um, and, and yeah, and that's that card. And let's see, um, and then for this card I, um, I used, um, this is a, uh, memory box die of a heart. It's actually two dies, the solid heart and then the, um, kind of like the filigree. And this is um, a die cut from the paper collection. And what else? Um, these are little pearls that I got from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. And I have two I Am Roses roses here. And I have a spray. I think I got this at Carla's. Really pretty spray. And, and then I fussy cut this um, girl this little girl walking her baby doll from the paper collection and also have um, the um, Fleur de Lis punch again with some lace. And that's that card. And let's see. And then for this card here, I um, have uh, the butterfly border here, but this time I didn't fussy cut the butterflies. I left them in the border. And then I have this felt border. It's memory box dive hearts. Really cute. And I cut it out from the felt. The same felt that I used on the booties. And let's see. And then I have some um, butterflies here. Um, these are some sp my Spellbinders dies. And um, I layered them and popped them up. And then this is a Tim Holtz ornate plate. And I put it on its side. And I put in the center this die cut from the um, paper collection and I just have a little um, seam binding bow at the top and I have a beautiful Argotania from my Roses. I love these and um, a little tag that says for baby. I have a little doily here that I cut out using um, a Martha Stewart punch and then over here I have um, it's just a little envelope and um, that I cut out with a Stampin' Up! punch. Um, it's just like a little petal card. It's really cute and I have the leaves with my Martha Stewart punch and a little um, half inch rose from my Roses sprayed with clam bake beige and then yeah and then in the pocket here I have one of the stamps from the paper collection um, really really cute and so yeah so that's my project let me show you give you a good look at the cards again because I think I kind of went through them quickly um, and yeah, there's that one and then there's this one And this one. And here's the other card. This one, and then, you know, with the little clip. And this one. And this one. So thank you so much everybody for watching today and I use a lot of IMRS's flowers on this product so what I'll do is I'll um, have a list of them on my blog so that you can um, um, you know check them out if you um, 
you know, like any of the ones you see. Especially, oh, especially these beautiful. I really encourage you to check these out. If you don't have these ones in your stash, they're really great. Especially if you like pink with the white and the pink centers. So, um, yeah, everybody, thank you so much for watching. That was like, kind of like a super long project. Um, I hope you liked it. And um, have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.